Hi there. Welcome to the ERP video resource site. My name is Bob and today we're going to show you how to install a simple two-wire dry contact device. In this instance, we're going to be using a generic two-wire flow switch and we're going to be wiring that into a Thor controller. As you can see here, we are using the L400 controller. If you bought a L800 Thor unit, it'll be exactly the same. The analog inputs and the dry contact units have eight instead of four, and the power blocks are slightly larger. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is turn off the power switch, which is located at the bottom right-hand side of the unit. We always like to uh, encourage you, after you've turned off the switch, to please disconnect the power cord from its outlet, if at all possible. After that, you're simply going to unlatch the device using the latches on the right side of the unit. After you've done that and opened it up, as you can see here, we have our sticker that totally mimics everything that's down below. You have your dry contacts in gray and your analog inputs in blue. You will not be using the upper right hand side of the diagram because as you see down here, these are all pre-wired from the factory. Now all of these wiring diagrams can be found in your owner's manual that you receive with your Thor. If for some reason you uh, don't have access to those diagrams, you can simply go to our website and all of these diagrams are on our website and or you can watch a video like you are doing now. Let's get going here. Now after we've turned off our power, opened up the unit, we're going to wire the unit and according to this diagram the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wire a jumper wire. I always like to start with my jumper wires because then I don't forget them if I'm in a hurry. In this particular diagram we're going to install a jumper wire from our positive power block over to our channel A, 1A, on our dry contact. I love these little contacts because you just simply push them in through a little screwdriver, put the wire all the way to the bottom, release, and you have a solid connection. Over here, we're going to put this wire in to our positive power block. And here's what that looks like in a picture when that is done. After that, you are going to wire in your flow switch and you're simply going to remove the plug from one of the bottom glands, loosen up the gland, you're going to string this in, up we go, and then you can snug up the gland simply so you can have an easier time to work with the wire. Now always check with your manufacturer because the colors of positive and negative depending on your manufacturer is not the same. Some of the manufacturers might have red as positive, some might have white. Most have black as negative, but not always. So always check the colors in your manufacturer before installing. In this particular unit, you're going to take your negative and put that over to our negative power block. We're going to put the wire in, push in our spring load, release, and that's done. After that, we are going to put our positive wire from the device to channel 1B over in our dry contact switch. We simply push that in, get the wire all the way down to the bottom where it's seated, release, and now you have a good fitting. That's it for this. We snug this up a little bit, and here's a picture of how that will look. After that, you're simply going to close the door, do the latches, plug back in the unit to the wall, and do your power switch, and you should be set to go. If for some reason you do not have documentation or our website available to you, just open up your Thor device and our QR codes are right there, take you to our videos, our articles, our website. I'm Bob, I work for Energy Resource Products. Remember your data, anywhere, anytime, all the time.